Okay, so today I am going to be um, finishing the acrylic paint on the canvas and I've got some titanium white and some cerulean blue, of course paint brushes, um, matte gel medium, and sponge, water, the works, and yes, yeah, so I've started squeezing out a little bit of paint. As you can see on my wax paper palette and I'm going to try some of this um, purpley color too which is more on the blue side if you can see it's like false advertising with that cover but that's okay no worries and uh, we're gonna mix in something else I think like let's let's add something to the mix, which means I have to um, these paints are new, so I have to puncture it. Um, the other side has a little thing that lets you do that. So I've got some crimson, and I had some clover, red clover tea earlier. Crimson clover. Um, yeah, I love clover. Okay. So, ooh, look at that. It's like a little rocket or something. Um, I'm adding some water to my brush here. And um, some of this matte medium is gonna really make this paint wide and go much further. And it's just a background layer. Not that there's anything like just about it, you know, but that's Um, and yeah, I, I don't uh, need to mix things all the way necessarily. Um, I'm not trying to get like an even color. In fact, I really prefer variation in it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just get started with that. And I am going to um, be painting like the sides of the canvas too. So that's exciting. And, you know, some um, artists do and some do not paint the sides of their canvas. And um, some of my paintings do and some of them uh, do not have paint on the sides of them. So. more water to my brush. Ooh, and we got some drips going on. I love that. So, um, yeah, that's fun. We get all the little crevices there. going on. Got a chair there in the way, that's all right. Just move it around and keep painting. And acrylic paint um, dries pretty fast. So it's nice to it's nice to be aware of that. It's not to me, you know, the best thing for like blending. That's where oil paint really comes in handy. Um, so yeah. Let's 
maybe it's a fun activity too to just like get a rhythm going in the uh, rhythm that you really um, you know use on your like when you're painting with your hand and like internally your rhythm it's gonna come out in your painting so it's a really good idea to um, check in with yourself and how you're feeling when you're um, creating art um, so that you're um, doing it from a peaceful place so that you're conveying peace because why would you want to convey anything in your art um, that is not truth. Truth is truth is peace. So um, yeah, it's a bit of a tangent, I guess. I've been looking at a lot of art on Instagram. I'm like, oh, this is good. And then I'm just looking, but you know, the, the person had to kind of like, oh, like add some, um, I don't know, like something there that doesn't feel good. Um, so just pay attention to that, you know, also when you're looking at art and what do you like about it and does, sometimes you think you, you like something because it's making you uncomfortable, but it's actually just making you uncomfortable. Um, so it's nice to get clear on that too because when something's kind of like uncomfortable, it can, it can feel exciting, right? Like, uh, there's a lot of art out there that's like that. But the excitement fades away and you're just left feeling bad, essentially. Um, or there's also art that's like, you know, maybe from a higher state, but it's not grounded. So it's also really important to ground um, or just check in with your energy, um, you know, your chakras if you want, want to look at it that way. Um, as you're painting. So have some different colors going on here. Well, really just pretty much the same things that I already used. And um, I am going to put this on. Oh yeah, it's stuck a little bit. Um, from last time. And I have some paint on my hands. It's a good thing to have some towels here. Um, of course, like, you know, you're gonna get painted somewhere when you're painting at some point, right? Um, and water on my brush. Still using a big brush for now. Just mixing all that. It didn't include the crimson this time. Just keeping it more blue. Variation happening. So. And of course, um, you know, you can layer, right? So move this, move this out a little bit to get under here, really. Probably could just move this up. Okay. Okay. And then I just have this one side really that's not um not any paint on it yet. Oh, so that's that so I'm gonna get this side. Okay. So I feel like I have that, you know, 
face down. Um, and then I can go back and start adding a little more variation on the canvas and I'm um, gonna take you know better a better look at it not um, not sticking this time which means I'll like flip flip it so it doesn't dry um and get stuff on the easel Just probably put a sponge down there or something figure that out soon um yeah so paint um, we're gonna go ahead and do some kind of greener color. Oh, and I have to puncture it. It's Viridian. It's got that paint. Nice Viridian. Some sap green. And we'll do some raw sienna too. I'm gonna use a smaller paintbrush now, like this one. Love seeing as it goes, you know, just um, how it's coming together, right? gestures going in there um, and this is this is meaningful to me I mean, as I paint I'm really feeling um, just feeling through my feelings and really desiring to convey um, First, like unity is gonna be unique to each person and to each painting, to uh, each situation in life. But 
so I guess what I'm trying to say is like having something be peaceful or in union isn't boring, it's pretty vibrant and exciting. So I'm gonna do a little more acrylic paint and then that'll probably be it. I'm gonna do some emeralds. Oof, if you've ever seen Return to Oz, that is one of my favorite movies. Um, it's not like The Wizard of Oz at all. And there's like an analysis of it done recently. Just puncturing that paint there. Um, well, somewhat made recently, last few years, you know, on YouTube. Because I, I, I mean, I really watched this movie like all the time as a kid, like obsessively. Um, because it really related to her her journey and she's you know out to restore um the emerald city and it she just doesn't care what it takes right she's just like going for it and um it's about the creative journey too anyway and like the like healing um, creativity within herself, her ability to express herself, um, and restore that spirit, um, you know, really restore everything back to the divine, like, in divine order that was, like, that seems gone because everything's, like, turned to stone, and so she has to go on this, like, crazy journey and also, the um, graphics are really cool, and um, yeah, so anyway, I feel like checking out that movie. Um, it's quite something. Um, yeah, so I've got some lighter colors, and I think I'm going to add a little bit of blue back. And... Gonna do that bra sienna again i really enjoy this earth the earthiness of this color it's like kind of got a golden hue to it all uh, right and yes yeah, so a little bit of matte very good and this is what i have going on water on my brush and just mix that together attention to your acrylic paint kind of drying because it's plasticky and um, if you try to like, paint with the part of your paint that's um, drying or too dry like you'll get little like I guess chunks of acrylic paint um, and that's kind of unpleasant usually unless for some reason you want that generally you wouldn't so yeah, this is starting to get some nice, um, yeah, like texture to it. I'm enjoying that already. And there's a lot you can do if you just want to do acrylic paint for some reason only. Um, you know, you can 
definitely see really beautiful artwork that's just all acrylic, so um, yeah, you have to see what works for you. Your canvas should be pretty sturdy, right? So you, you should be um, fine to apply some pressure when needed. Um, and pay attention to that because, like, the more pressure you apply, like, it's gonna create a different kind of stroke on your canvas to a different look. So the more you um, are tuned to all these nuances, you'll, um, you'll like, just be really in touch with your, your painting as you're painting it, and it'll build your confidence, too, in what you're doing. Next, I will be starting um, oil paint, and uh, that's going to be really fun to like see how this comes together. I bet it will look pretty different from how it does right now um, when I go into that. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel, of course, if you want to see more videos. And leave a comment below if you have anything to say or questions. Um, and I've got my links below too if you want to check out my services and artwork or just connect. So I hope you have a wonderful creative day ahead or evening. And I will see you soon for my next video. Take care. Bye.